Hello and welcome to the electrical department here at City College of Hampton. My name's Bob Henley. I'm one of the electrical lecturers here at City College and I'd like to sort of give you a bit of an introduction to um, the courses. The electrical installation covers the installing of electrical systems in buildings. The course is generally aimed at level two and then level three, although we do offer a level one for people who have yet to complete their GCSE English and Maths to level four. The level two course has five main elements. So the first of those is health and safety. So about keeping yourself and other people safe in the working environment. Very important to all aspects of work, wherever you go, there'll always be the health and safety. Um, the second element is science. So there is an element of electrical science and some mechanical science. So we look at things like um, levers and pulleys and gears, but also uh, things like Ohm's law and um, some of the power formula and how resistors work and how motors work. So some of the science is based around those things, just the fundamental principles. About 40 to 45% of the course is practical. So the practical consists of learning to do different circuits with different types of cable and different types of cable support system. So we teach you all about the names of the bits and what the different cables do and why we use different types of cable in different situations. So that's some um, three, three other elements. Fourth one is related to the, the practical part and that's the theory of the installation. The, th the theory of the installation is more about putting the right equipment in the right place. So it's, it's the, the theory of, and it covers things like different types of fuses and different types of fixings. So whether we're gonna use um, a wall plug and screw or we're gonna use a concrete anchor. It, so it's more about those things. And then the fifth element is about the regulations. So or all our wiring is installed to the 18th edition of BS 7671, the electrical regulations. And we, at level two, we look at the, the on-site guide, which is a guidance note to the regulations. And it just tells us about what types of cables we can use and what size of cables and things like that. So myself and the other teaching staff here at City College are all industry trained. We've done our apprenticeship, for me, quite a long time ago. Um, for, for some of the other teachers here, not quite so long. And we have expertise in the industry. We also have links to employers and other industry bodies. So occasionally we have um, industry come in to do some lessons for us. Although we say that we are doing electrical installation or you will be doing an electrical installation course, we'll be getting you ready for employment in that industry. You will need some good English and math skills. Electricity is science-based and you will need to learn some of the science. Eventually, you'll need to take all your learning into the workplace. But you can gain those skills here and then use those skills to help you find a job to complete an apprenticeship. If you come in to us at level two, complete your level two studies, and then if you can find an employer, move on to do the level three and the MVQ in the workplace, or progression with us and stay with us to do level three and then progress to do the MVQ in industry. And if you're a young, young lady and you're interested in electricity, there's, we very much welcome you along. It's not just 
a job for the boys. So, when you come along to, to um, City College, the electrical department at City College, um, we provide all the tools and all the equipment, so you don't need to bring that along. All you need to bring along is a pen, a pencil, safety boots, and make sure your arms and legs are covered. Everything else we provide. Oh, with one exception. Please bring along your Casio scientific calculator. We'll even provide you with a course book. Um, so generally we hand these out to our students um, and everything you want to know is in the book. So we have a quite a strict entry requirement for our level two course. Because of the high maths and English content, we like our students to have at least a grade four in English and maths GCSE. So please work hard at your GCSEs. They are important. But if you just miss out slightly with the GCSEs um, and you don't make the four, perhaps it's a two or a three, then what we can do is put you on a level one electrical whilst you redo that, that GCSE. We like to make sure that our students enjoy what they do and learn those really good skills that will take you through your career. Um, and maybe one day you'll be stood in front of the camera doing the explanation instead of me.